Shalom and greetings from Jerusalem Jane coming to you in the midst of a storm named Barbara who is sweeping through all of Israel. Up north they have a lot of snow and it's beautiful. There's actually so much that people can't go ski on Mount Hermon. It's closed. Here in Jerusalem it was raining all day yesterday. It was raining all night. There was a little a little pause with no rain in the morning, but now the rain is pouring down again. It's not so windy right now and it ha as it has been, but this storm is still sweeping throughout the country. It's very, very cold. So like I said, when I made an update yesterday, if you're here in Israel, please stay safe, stay warm, stay dry until this storm passes. Um, it's supposed to be sometime uh, tomorrow on Thursday. All eyes are on Turkey and Syria after a number of massive earthquakes struck in that area. Uh, thousands and thousands of houses came down. Uh, many, many people are missing. I think the death toll is almost up to 8,000. It's absolutely horrible. Israel has sent a rescue team. They are also going to send a field hospital with the right proper medical staff to go and treat. So Israel is doing a lot. Israel is sending a lot of help, like uh, I know many other countries around the world is. Here in Israel, when these massive earthquakes were striking in Syria and in Turkey, we had the rumble. Uh, it was felt in Israel too. But last night, there actually was an earthquake here in Israel between the community of Ariel and Jerusalem. And it was measured to 3.5. So the earthquake, earthquake a uh, siren or alarm system was not when it didn't went off because the home front command didn't um, they knew it was not going to cause any damages uh, here in Israel normally otherwise they would go and alert, alert out so it was a 3.5 earthquake <clears throat> I have to admit I was sleeping at that time and I didn't feel anything. So for those asking Jane, was there an earthquake in Israel? Are you safe? Yes, I'm standing here in my little apartment. I slept away from it. The Home Front Command is out giving um, instructions to people saying if and when an earthquake, a, a bigger one strikes, if you are in your house, get out. Meaning if you are up until the first floor, run to get out of the building. If you are higher, like my situation, I'm on the third floor in my building, run into your bomb shelter and take cover in your bomb shelter. Make sure that your window and your doors are open. If you don't have a bomb shelter, run out and try and seek shelter in a hallway. If that's not possible, literally duck down under a bed or a table. So my little apartment actually, uh, I'm sleeping in a bomb shelter. My bedroom is a bomb shelter. So that's of course is where I will go if I'm, if I'm in my house. Um, we hope it's not going to happen and it's not unusual. I saw an expert on TV this morning. It's not unusual that Israel has earthquakes. It happens on and off and about every hundred year uh, there's a big earthquake striking Israel. Um, she was asked, is this coming now because of what's happening because of the, of the earthquakes in Syria and Turkey? She says it could be, but Israel also have earthquakes besides what's happening in other parts of this region. So keep us in prayers. Um, like I said, we are in the midst of a storm. A uh, massive amount of rain is coming down. There is flooding in many places. So <laughs> when all of this is going on and you literally don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, uh, is there a major earthquake going to strike? Are you going to wake up tomorrow or not? You know, you, you just can't help thinking about that. Um, I actually chose to put on some of the music with with an artist that has some music that really lifts my soul. I've just been filling my house all day.
praying and just being grateful. There's always something that, you know, fear can, can grip us or like me, you can have parts on your body that's hurting or maybe financially you are in a, in a, in a tough spot or whatever it could be. But today, this morning, I chose to say, God, thank you for waking up today. God, thank you for having a roof over my head. God, thank you that I'm, that I'm, in, I'm in a kind of a new apartment where I have a bomb shelter, where I can see cover. Thank you, God, that I have food in my refrigerator. Thank you, God, that I can turn on heat uh, in, in, in my little apartment. And um, I want to end this video, and I really feel it's important for me to say that the reason why I even have all of these things is because of people like you. People who say, you know what, Jane, we know you don't have a salary. We know you're not affiliated with any news organization or you're a send out. You are just you trying to inform us, doing the best that you can. We want to bless you financially. So because of you, I have a home. I have a little bit of food. I have heat. I can put on a, a hoodie and stay warm. And I am so, so grateful. And it's important for me today to say, I honor you for that. You know who you are. You know who I'm speaking to right now. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Again, I'm sending my deepest sympathy and condolences to all the people in Syria and Turkey who is affected uh, by all of this. Uh, and I'm so grateful to see how Israel is always on the front line for sending out field hospitals, for doctors, for rescue teams, for uh, shrink psychologists, who's also going out to help all of the people who's traumatized, like I see many other countries are doing that. And God willingly, there's not going to be a massive or major earthquake here in Israel. I think we have enough uh, going on with uh, terror attacks and a political um, storm right now. There's so many other things going on here that I will speak about in another video. But for me, it was just important to say, yes, there was a small earthquake, uh, in Israel, I didn't feel it. I slept, and I want to say thank you and honor the people who is who is enabling me to even be here and do what I am doing, uh, trying to share the news. So keep praying for Israel for such a time as this. And again, I want to say I give all my love, strength, and support to all the people in uniform who is out there in the wet and cold, uh, protecting us. Uh, 24 7 365 we love you and we honor you and for the rest of you book your tickets to israel and keep all of us in your prayers thank you